What's up everybody, Fritz here, and um, hope you enjoying being bombarded with these tutorials, but today I've got another cool one. Um, this is a basically uh, how to make a color correction that works well in Magic Bullet Looks, and I'm just going to kind of show you some of the stuff that you can do, or like some of the main things that would make a nice color correction. A lot of it is opinion though, people say, oh look Fritz, this is the best color correction in the world, and I'm like, meh. And then there's other times where I'm like, oh, this is the best, and then they're like, fit your ginger, go die in a hole. Um, so we're just going to jump right into it. So we're going to make sure you have Magic Bullet Looks. Um, it's a must-have. If you don't have it, you are no longer allowed to be uh, have your editor license, and you actually need to be gone and uh, strip-searched. So we are going to jump real quickly into Magic Bullet Looks here. And um, like I said, this is not how to make a good CC as much as it is just like what a good CC is. So here if we got um, looks, we have all our presets and stuff. So um, if you haven't downloaded mine already, it's kind of old. Uh, I don't know. It was before I, it was before I was like, I guess, cool. Maybe. I don't know. Like, look at that CC. Fritz, where you, what, what were you doing? So it's pretty easy to make the color corrections. Um, some of the main stuff you need to know is diffusion and that kind of is like what brings the color out. So we'll just bring one on, put it on matte, and you can see it kind of lightens it up, makes it a little bit more moody. Um, so make sure you have diffusion on, that's always important. Um, edge softness, what this does is it kind of blurs the edges so you can see here how it's got the edges all blurry and it's just kind of neat. So that's kind of a neat thing to have too, just you know, keep in mind. Um, vignette is what makes the middle of the screen light up and the edges not. So you can see there how it kind of just makes the middle light up. Over here we've got the edges lighting up and you can sort of change the tone of it, the colors here. But it, I don't know how much it really does. There's an easier way to do that and that is if you go to post. Um, you can add this like uh, color range and I, find, I don't know if I find this works. So here we'll make this like an orangey, or no, not an orangey. We're, we're real men. We'll make it uh, red. We'll make it a reddish CC, just, I don't know, like a hardcore one. You see how it kind of adds, like, a red tone to it? I don't know, it's just kind of nice. Um, curves are ma curves is another cool one. See like, how it kind of makes, like, certain areas darker and other areas lighter. So we're getting into, like, a hardcore CC kind of right here. And I don't know, it's kind of neat. Um, other stuff that's kind of cool. Contrast, I don't know, you can mess with it. Um, contrast just kind of, like, you know, makes it, like, I don't know, all kind of trippy, but if you do add just like a slight contrast, it can make it from like, you know, a sort of crappy CC to a nice one. So if this is another one, so it's kind of like mess with it, and that's not what we wanted, so we're going to get rid of that. Um, things that I look for in a CC when I'm trying to make one is I don't want it to be horribly like bright and like ew. I sort of want it to be like, you know, something that's enjoyable to watch. So even right here is this one seems to be like a little bit strong like it's a little bit you know more of it's a hardcore cc really i didn't mean to even be making one um this one's kind of cool lens distortion uh it kind of makes like zoom in a little bit more we can make it go towards the kill feed even i don't know how to do that but i know you can do it i will make it slightly bent inwards like that okay there we go um this one's kind of cool it's like it adds like a blue line to stuff that's bright i don't know so yeah guys mess with it um what not to make in a CC is some really bright, like, disgusting thing that nobody's going to want to look at. So don't make it look like, you know, like, I don't know, something really bright and ugly. Don't make it look like that, okay? Whatever you do, don't make your CC look like that. And just keep it simple. Keep it very nice. Make it enjoyable to watch. So this one, even, like, for my taste, isn't that nice. But we can we can change that. There we go. There we go. There, now we got, like, a chillish CC. And if you actually look at it, I'll show you the difference um, between what we just made and the other one. So, um, just make it, like, you know, enjoyable to look at. Not all pixelated and gross. So, there's that CC, and we'll turn it off. And there we go. Now it's, like, normal. That's with CC, and that's without. So, just mess with it. That's how to make a good color correction. So, uh, like I said, the effects to look for are diffusion, vinaigrette, edge softness, curves, color contrast, exposure. And then there's a whole bunch of other ones you guys didn't even jump into, like Shutter Streak ads, like stuff coming off the sides. Um, you got to be creative. Film thing. I don't know what film oh, it makes it look old. Yippee, we're all hoes. Um, that just does stuff. And, like, you know, just really, really spend some time and really try to work out a nice color correction because you don't want it to be, like, a crazy, ugly thing. There we go. I like that. It's kind of bright, but it's smooth to look at. So there we go, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Fritz here, and I'm out. Peace!